Hey everybody, and welcome back to Hold Hard, the channel where I sometimes talk about makeup, sometimes relevant things, sometimes electronics, but today, again, it's makeup. Yay! A lot of you are here for the makeup portion, so we're going to be doing some of that. If there's other things that are going to be in the works, stay tuned if you're not here for makeup. But this one's about makeup, so if you're not about makeup, go away. <laughs> Just kidding. If you're not here for makeup and stuff like that, this is probably the video you want to watch. But let's get into this and we don't need any additional social commentary because I tend to blabber on about stuff. We're just going to talk about makeup. And we're going to talk about my favorite drugstore brands. My favorite drugstore brands are NYX and Physicians Formula and e.l.f. But we don't get e.l.f. in drugstores here. I pretty much just buy that stuff online. When it comes to the NYX products, I actually bought some things a few months ago and I've been trying them out and it was summertime. Now all of a sudden it's winter here. Whatever. This is Canada. We're going to keep living that way. But I, I bought a few things just to test them out. My own money. I don't have that much money, but I did. Tested them out and talked to me about them because it was successful. I really happen to like them. Everything that is on my face today is either NYX products, Physicians Formula, and a little bit of IBY. It's all in front of me. I will show it all to you. So let's start with NYX to begin with because it's the one that I have the most of. And I'm going to be showing them in order that I apply them to my face. And since NYX is the primer today, I'm going to talk about that. When it comes to primer, like drugstore brands are rocking it. Drugstore brands also rock highlighter too. My favorite primers of all time are this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This one's almost done. Like, I have a backup. Don't worry. But the other one that I really, really love and that I wear all the time is this NYX Shine Killer. Now, this one is super comparable to the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I think that is called. Or Photo Finish Primerizer. Whatever. The thing is, is that Smashbox breaks me out. I've tried the few of them. I've had like samples and all that kind of whatnot. It just breaks me out. The, the formula in this feels exactly the same as like the original Smashbox, like folder, whatever it's called. I don't know the exact word because I don't own it. And it's like $60. This is 18 Sometimes you don't need to go super expensive to get things to work the same or sometimes better because again this has like the same silicone formula, it slides around. This primer always leaves me with a really good easy base to work with. It is a little bit like slippery which is kind of a good thing because then if you have those super fast drying foundations they don't like spot and you can kind of spread them around a lot faster. That's my opinion. I'm no expert. I don't know the fancy words. I just know that this looks really good. Gives you a nice finish on the face. And it's like $18 compared to like the $60. Because it's pretty much the same thing as that Smashbox. On to the next product. And some of the things I really love from NYX are their concealers. So I have two kinds here. This one is complete coverage. Like super complete coverage. It's also waterproof. For me, that's great because I really use this one under my eyes and I do have the shade Alabaster. It does have a little bit of a yellow tint to it, which is good because I'm trying to like sometimes hide the fact that I've been tired since like 1999. And uh, yeah, I, I was a grown up in 1999. So <laughs> just going to show you here that it really, really has like full coverage of everything. You don't need a lot of this to go really, really far does have that full coverage. It has a little bit, again, I said a yellow tint because that's the color that I chose on this one. But it is a really thick concealer so I tend to wear this one underneath foundation to again hide the fact that my eyes are all, you know, tired and looking like a raccoon. This one is definitely a winner. I will definitely repurchase it again when it's all done but it's good for like 24 months. Yeah, I have a hard time seeing it. Just like this. Whatever. We're not talking about that today. We're talking about fun stuff. The next one that I have is just like this, like, pot concealer thing. I don't know. People call these all sorts of weird things. It's just concealer, okay? And it's in a little jar pot thing. I've obviously used a lot of it since I've gotten it. 
This one I use just to define my eyebrows. Pretty much. That's it. It's really easy to manipulate and put on the brow line with a nice little brush. It doesn't dry too quickly so you don't have time to like spread it around. If you make a mistake, it is pretty easy to wipe this stuff off because like I said, it doesn't dry right away. But it does do a really, really good job at covering because sometimes there's imperfections on my skin and y'all don't need to know about that. And this covers it up too. When it comes to foundations, like this is just where I go to is NYX. I obviously have like the full, full coverage of the won't stop, can't stop. But this is a little bit too light for me now because I gave myself a goal this year was to go out enough to get a tan. And I did. Woo! And I did. I'm pretty proud of myself, even though none of you really need to know that. But that's my personal goal. I also really, really like their HD foundation. So it's HD, studio, photogenic, whatever. This one here. This is what I'm wearing today. But like I just said, like I had a tan this summer. So I actually have two. I have two different colors. One of them's a little bit darker. Because I had a tan. I'm just super happy. I'm happy about the fact that like I'm getting my life better. I'm going out there doing stuff. But this really does cover it is actually really full coverage but it's very liquidy which is kind of i don't know this one is like 19 dollars in stores this one i got at winners i'm assuming it's still 19 dollars, but i got it for like cheaper at winners but still they're both full coverage but this one's really thick and like this one covers like it'll cover like tattoos like everything but this one will almost as well but it's really really runny and liquidy I like them both. This one though, if you have dry skin, it'll probably like cake up on it. And this one's pretty good for people anywhere. But wait, I'm not done. I still have other kinds of foundation from NYX. I'm telling you, I really like this brand. And it's not sponsored, I just like it. It is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. So it is a little bit light again, I tanned, but I use this for many things. Sometimes I just use this to just set my face when I'm done with everything. I do things in weird steps. You do whatever you want, whatever steps you want to do them. But I tend to do all like the liquids and the cream stuff first. Then I set that. And then another NYX products I'll mention in a minute comes into play. Then I do all the powder stuff, you know, like highlight from the stars and all. But if you're in a hurry, you can really use this as a foundation. It really is a powder foundation. Just get like a little, well, this one's a little bit wet, but it's a sponge. It'll still work. I'm never gonna learn. I am never going to learn to swatch with the other hands around, cause whatever. So just grab some of it on your little sponge and this is what it will do. There you go. It is pretty cool coverage for just a powder. It's not going to hide blemishes or all that kind of whatnot, but what it does, it just blurs your face. It kind of covers them a little bit, doesn't make them pop out so much, and it's a really good look for like no makeup makeup looks or for someone who doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup, people that are just in a hurry, whatever. I personally really like this, like everything I've said so far, obviously, because I don't keep things if I don't like them. And this is the last one now. This is some of their new line, Bear With Me line. They could be at another point of lines and stuff by now because drugstores tend to release things and release things and release things. But this one is Bear With Me Set Prime Refresh Multitasking Spray. Now I have to read that on there. So I've used quite a bit of it. The one thing I don't like about this is the spray. Like, it's a very fine mist. Most people love fine mists, but it's not a wide mist. So when you spray it on your face, it kind of, and personally, I like sprays that are a little bit more aggressive because then I know where it landed on my face and I know if I've missed a spot. But with this one, I'm not really sure if I kind of got all the places, but does it work as a setting spray? Hmm? Yeah, but I was testing this out this summer when it was like really, really hot outside and again, my nose sweats when I get really warm or when I get nervous, like now. So I really need something to help like things stay on my face. This 
mm, didn't really go through like the rubbing off test. But if I wasn't like, I was like touching my nose or whatever, it would probably be fine. But I do have other setting sprays that I like better as a setting spray. But what I really love this one for is to just set things. Like I said, I do a lot of weird steps. So I put all my liquids and my creams, and then I put on like my powder stuff to set everything. But I don't look like I have cake face. So then I spray a little bit of this on. Cause it's also a primer spray. And it's also really good as like a refreshing spray. So sometimes I got stuff to do, gotta do some errands, but then I work later on in the day. And doing errands for me usually brings my anxiety to like 125%. So my makeup doesn't always, you know, look the best when I'm done with all that. But I don't have time to do it all over again before I go to work because, you know, it takes forever in the bus to get to my work here. But I just want to touch things up a little bit. Use this spray here just to refresh things. So what it does is, again, it kind of takes things and blends them all together. So if I've been moving my makeup around on my face, I'm touching my face and all that kind of whatnot, and I kind of have some bare spots, it kind of makes them easier to just blend together. So you start with this little spray, and then you go in with some of this, set everything, put everything where it should be again so that you don't have any bald spots, I guess. Okay, not on my, on my face. Can you have bald spots for makeup on your face? Wait. Yes, you can. You can. Mine's right here. Right there. I know you're all gonna like go, yes, me too. We all have that one spot like on our eyes where no matter what we do, eyeshadow won't blend. It just won't stick to like this one spot. I know I'm not the only one out there. Mine's like right there. But let's get back to the task at hand. So, so far we have talked about primer. We have talked about concealer. We have talked about foundation and other foundation and some setting spray and now it's time to talk about the eyes this is another palette that i have been testing and it is the perfect filter palette in olive you okay olive you you know who you are so these are the colors that come in this one there are more than one perfect filter palettes these ones again for me these are the colors that win you can probably tell I've used a few of them, quite a bit. And there's a reason why I'm talking about like this palette and why I'm just talking about one palette. So there's a lot of people that are in my life that, you know, like makeup, but they don't have this many things in their way, like including my sister. She's got two young kids, doesn't have time to like, you know, do whatever. So some people just want like one palette that can kind of do it all. This one, like for me, my skin tone, the colors that I like, this one does it very well. And I think that it will work for pretty much like anybody who likes color, but not necessarily in your face color. Like today I went heavy on it and that's fine. But there is so many different ways that you can wear this palette. Like today I have some of this like in the crease and then this is on my lid and a little bit of topper with this. But there's also like the green ones. So you can switch it up. You can actually use like green for your crease and then go with like this burgundy for your eyelid you can switch it all up there's also like this pretty color up here i don't use that one that that much um but there's some correlating other shimmers in there so take a look my point just is if these colors really appeal to you go for this one it's something like 12 or 14 dollars because it's on sale right now because these aren't the colors of the moment whatever anyway just go for this again you can definitely go a lot light-handed with it and I'll still give you some color but not necessarily like I am going to a prom type of color on your face even though I wear that every day but not everybody does right so this is kind of like a one can do it all type of palette depend on how you mix things together depend on how heavy of a hand you apply them it can go from an everyday look and then it can just transition to an evening look. Or it can just be like your everyday go-to palette. Obviously, I like it. The shades are very well pressed in there. There's not that much fallout. It's pretty easy to use. You really have to try to like overdo a color. So for even beginners and people that aren't necessarily skilled. Apparently, y'all think I am. I don't know, man. Got news for you. But... 
pretty easy to work with. I like it. This palette is also like right in front of me in my everyday palettes because I have all my fancy or ones over there. But this is right in front of me in my everyday palette along with like my e.l.f. nude rose gold palette that I also go crazy about. Just everyday stuff like. Yep. Yep. Most days I'm pretty simple with my makeup. But some days I just go out and have some fun. And today I had some fun even with an everyday makeup palette. And that's why I'm talking about it. So what's next? What's next is what's on my lips. Because for a while I was so into liquid lips. And then kind of got out of it. But now I'm getting back into it just because... I'm looking at how much stuff I got and I'm like, I need to stop buying. Like I've got like everything. The only thing, I know I can hear y'all laughing right now. The only thing I'll have to rebuy is things that run out like primer and spray, but I have a lot of everything else. And I do have these liquid suede now. Okay, this isn't like the latest thing. This is probably like a couple years of whatever. They still work, they work great. I have them on now. So they're just like these liquid suede colors. I had this one on in a picture on Instagram a few days ago, but today I am wearing this one here in the color Brooklyn Thorn. I really like these colors. They look really, really good. And I also have one of their lip liners, and it is in this dark purple. It's personally, for me, I'm not very good at lining my lips. I mean, like this part of my lips right here will always never be really defined. It always looks weird from the surgery that I got. So back in May, I had to have a saliva gland biopsy done. So I had like four stitches in my mouth down there. And it did affect some of the nerve endings in, in my lips. So this part will always kind of look weird. So I do try to fix it. And just with like the colors that I like to choose for the liquid lips and stuff like that. Personally, I find that like this dark purple color, it just works well. Blends easily into the other colors that I have. No complaints there. They also have like some metallic mattes, which look really, really good. So let's swatch this. Let's swatch it on the correct hand this time. All right. Because I actually have some elf ones to compare it to. Um, so. so this is that NYX matte metal one. I do have some like elf metallic mattes. And I think the reason why I kind of was a little bit walking away from liquid lips was actually like the elf formula again nothing against elf i love them but the formula tends to like dry out and get heavier so this one all right you guys didn't see me like swipe it across my hand but the nyx formula is still very liquid let me just show you the applicators how's that that'll work on that side is the elf and on that side is the nyx so can you see how the elf is all kind of like bunched up in there? So, let's see if I can do this. Let's try this. The blind girl is going to try to swipe things. Right? Whew. How did that work? <laughs> all right. So, I do find that the elf is kind of like chunky. A lot harder to make sure you have it where you want it to go. That's my personal opinion. That, I mean, am I going to stop buying e.l.f. products? No. They're just super affordable. I'll just, like, rebuy them every year instead of keeping them for two years like I've done with my NYX ones. Because I do believe that NYX liquid lips are about, like, $18 as well. So none of it is, like, super intensely high-priced anyway. So we're just going to be happy. And speaking of happy, one of my favorite things and the other brand you were going to talk about was Physician's Formulas, Happy Booster. And... I just realized today how much I've really gone in with this one. So Happy Booster with Physicians Formula, they have two things. They have a translucent setting powder, which is what I have here. And they also have a blush. Um, I have enough blush, like today I have um, the IBY Cheek to Cheek palette. I love IBY products. IBY and I are very good friends on Instagram, if you ever noticed that. Not a promotion, not a sponsorship, I just, just like the stuff that they have. But let's get back to what we're talking about. This is the translucent setting powder. And I have a hard time saying words. I always have a hard time with words. But I didn't realize how like I had actually really like gotten into this till I just looked at it. 
Yeah. So. Obviously, I like this. It's one of my go-to, like, setting powders. Like, and I'm done. Is it supposed to be called a setting powder? The back of it says it's a glow and mood boosting powder. I don't know if it boosts my mood or not, but... I don't know. I like it. It makes me happy, so I guess it does make my mood better. Other things I love from Physician's Formula is obviously Butter Bronzer. This is a cult classic. I didn't really know what the whole thing was about until I decided to buy my own this summer. I haven't used that that much of it, but that's because I only bought it in like August. And then I was like, whoa, I get the whole hype about this. And I'm not crazy with the smell. A bunch of people love the smell of this, but... I'm not crazy about it, actually. I'm kind of learning to like it as I go along. I do have the shade Endless Summer. It does have a little bit of uh, a red-ish tint to it. But for my skin, it works really, really good. I really like it. And this is about $18. So is this. Everything's about the same price in like these compact size, powder-wise with Physician's Formula. However, everything seems to be on sale currently. And I heard to their grapevine that they're just like repackaging everything. So if you want to stock up on stuff, go right now because everything's kind of priced lower. Save money. Like, why not? Another thing that I love with Physician's Formula is like, this one's CC Cream. Um, but they have a BB Cream. And the CC Cream is a little bit darker. So I use this one in the summer. I need to get another one. That one's all done, used up. But it's just like a cream foundation. Personally, for me, I love this for like everyday, real quick stuff because sometimes I wake up late and I got places to go and I don't want to look like I'm a zombie, so I need a little bit of color on my face. It's pretty easy to use. Hold on. I'm back. I just need to get like the beauty blender. So you just take a beauty blender, pop it in there. You would need something that's pretty dense though. Pick everything up and then you just put it all over your face and then blend it out. It's a CC cream, so it's not like full coverage or anything like that. It just does kind of the same thing that the NYX powder does, but with a different texture to it. And a, a little bit more coverage, a little bit more coverage than the NYX powder. But it just depends on how many layers you want to put on. It helps a lot with just like evening out colors on your face, blurring a little bit of things here and there. Makes you look like you're not a zombie, like you just didn't get up three minutes ago. So people think that you're not a weirdo. However, I have been to be a weirdo and I'm very proud of it and I don't care. But some people do, so for all of you that do, you know, whatever. Otherwise, let your weird light shine so we can all find each other. The other thing that I really like from Physician's Formula, this is like old school, but they still have it because it's just awesome. It's just highlights. So if you look at it, there's like four different colors. There's nothing to stop me from, you know, going through them. So you can actually have four different colors of highlight, depending on which way you swatch them. So let's see if I can put this on my arm. Because I did the wrong hand again. All right, so let's see if it's going to come up. There you go. Can you see those? There you go. So there you go. Well, I think I just proved my point. Depending on what level of highlight you want, where you're going, if it's like just for the everyday look or if you really want a pop of something because you're going on a date or whatever, just this. This is just like what you need. And these things last forever. There's, there's a lot of it in there. And again, they're about $16 to $18 because everything's pretty easily priced around that. And what kind of makeup review would this be if I didn't include another kind of setting spray? Setting spray just saves the world. It can save a really bad look. All of like the different layers tend to like just melt together and look more natural and they just have this instant ready is that what it's called insta ready setting mist again this mist is what i like of this one but not really so, the mist in this one is a very fine mist but it's a very wide mist so you just need like three or four sprays and you know you got your whole face this one the NYX, it's kind of like very directional. So you spray it, you kind of just get like this spot. So you kind of go to go around. This one just works really great. There's not much left. I don't want to waste it. So it's going to stay in there. But this one does stay all day. Even when I go out in the summertime and I'm warm and I'm touching my face, all that whatnot. 
my makeup doesn't really go anywhere. I mean, it, it's not like, you know, Urban Decay, because that shit's just like the bomb. But it's close enough. It works really, really well that I can't justify paying the crazy price for like the Urban Decay setting spray. I'll just get this one. Again, this one is usually about 16 to $18. And this is all available in drugstores. So those were my favorite. I am going to give a special shout out again to IDOI Beauty. Not sponsored, I just really like their stuff. And I want them to be able to send them to Canada because the only way I can get these is if I'm in like makeup subscription thing. But anyway, I happen to be wearing some of this today. So I have this color over here, Jive, on my face currently. But this is a very cute palette. Magnetic closure on them. It feels like some leather. It's really cute. And they also have, well, I have to have this one, the Desert Vibes. This one as well is a very easy everyday kind of shades, but could easily turn into like a very evening shade, kind of like the same concept as I'm talking here. And yeah, I just put my finger in it, but whatever. There's a lot of product in there, so I ain't worried. So this one again can do everyday stuff, but can easily be switched into like a glam look. Same thing for this one. We're not here to talk about those ones. We are here to talk about like the NYX palette. So yeah, NYX. These were my favorite. This palette here, I like it. This powdered foundation, love it. This primer, recommended over Smashbox because one, Smashbox tends to break me out. This doesn't. It feels exactly the same. Works very well. That's a fraction of the price. I forgot about this one. I also use their glitter primer um, when I want to put like glitter because Y'all know I go glitter all the time. Why there isn't any today? I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my mind or something. I don't know. But I did have a really good time. And again, my favorite products in Physician's Formula are the Butter Bronzer and this Happy Booster that's upside down. Because you need to see the hearts the right way. There you go. These two products are my favorite from Physician's Formula. And there's a lot of favorites in NYX, so that's why you had like five of them in Position formula only has like two. So that is it. That was my favorite NYX and Physicians formulas. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, go ahead. If you don't want to, that's cool. We're still friends. I still like y'all. If you have any questions or any suggestions for something else in the future, let me know below. And with all that, I'm going to let you guys all have the rest of a good week. And I'm going to go have some supper because I'm hungry.